How was your weekend? Moderately excellent. Thanks for asking. And yours? Oh, okay, I guess. Billy's dad sat on me again at the dinner table. You know, I just don't understand. Every fucking time- Okay, okay, Gary. Let's wait for the others to get here. Hello, Dr. Pence. Mr. Shaw? Bones, how are you? Hello, Herbert. How's the news? It's happening. Let's take a seat while we wait for the others. I brought some cookies and coffee over there. Help yourself. Captain Jelly. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Except for Mustache Pete. Yarr! You had an appointment. Couldn't make it. Yarr! Oh. Okay. Well then. We'll have to make do. <clears throat> now, where did we leave off last week's session? I'd much rather not bring up last week's session, fellas. Fair enough. But... We had a really good dialogue going last week. I believe you were telling us about the dog. I don't want to talk about the fucking dog, okay? Yarr! Jellybeard. Dr. Pence, this is important. Let's talk about the dog. I've been with William for three years, you know? I, I was there from the beginning, and now, now, that fucking butt ruins everything. Hey man, it happens. The last family I was with bought a goldfish. I've been on my own since, and that was 14 years ago. You don't see me freaking out. Hey, fuck you, Bones. Nobody wants a skeleton anyways. You suck. Yarr! Okay, guys. Bones isn't the issue here. Dr. Pence, what's going on with the dog? Well, you know, uh, William just ignores me now. He's all, fetch this and let's take Stacy on a walk that. It's like, it's like I don't even exist anymore. Oh man, that's rough. You got replaced by a dog named Stacy? You're pushing all the wrong buttons, you fucking Halloween decoration. Guys, guys, we're here to support each other. Let's not let this dog tear us apart, man. We have to stick together. I mean, it's hard out there for an imaginary friend. I know I couldn't do this alone. Thank you, Gary. Let's get on level ground here, guys. Remember, we may be imaginary, but, but our feelings are real. real. Yarr! Okay, Gary. Let's discuss your weekend. Remember what you mentioned earlier? The sitting? Oh, yeah. That. Yeah? Well, what happened, man? Did you get sat on again? We were at the dinner table on Saturday night. Mrs. Smith had just bought some KFC and... Billy set up a place for me next to him at the table. And I was just sitting there and and that lummox, I, I mean, his dad, he just he just comes right up to my spot where I'm sitting. And without a moment of hesitation, I mean, before I know it, I'm under 260 pounds of ass. Oh man, what did you do? Well, I couldn't do anything. I, uh, Billy started going ape shit, but his dad didn't seem to care. He just sat there stuffing his gob with coleslaw. And how did that make you feel? Like I was nothing. Yes? Like I was just some empty chair. I mean, come on! But you know, Gary, I mean, hey, look at it this way, right? Billy started freaking out, okay? So that, you can at least take comfort in knowing that, you know, he knows you exist, right? Excellent observation, Dr. Pence. What we all need to realize is that as long as you're important to at least one person, you're important in general. Yarr. Yeah, thanks guys. Okay then, anyone else? How about you, Captain Jellybeard? How was your weekend? Yarr, it was okay. I started another yarn ball. 
and I went to the matinee on Sunday. The movie had with Noah Ryder in it. Good, good. And what did you do on Saturday night? How did the sleepover go? Oh, yar, that, uh, yeah. Well, Stephen and I went over to the Johnson's house. You know, Stephen and Michael Johnson, they're on the same little league team. And how did that go? Oh, okay, I suppose. Except... Yes? Well, Stephen and Michael were watching the television, and Miss Johnson walked into the room. Naturally, Stephen introduced me to her. And? She... she... patted me. Oh, fuck. I hate air patters, man. They never get you on the head. It's embarrassing for everyone. Yeah, man, I've been patted before. Of course, as a skeleton, it's a different issue. What? How does you being a skeleton affect air patters, man? Well, you know, I'm... well, I'm made of bones. There are... What? What the fuck, man? That doesn't make any sense. You don't make sense, Pants. That's Dr. Pants to you, you fucking faker. You guys... I'm no faker. Just because I haven't had a kid in a while doesn't mean I don't count. Yeah, whatever, man. All I see here is a skeleton completely lying to himself, man. You need to straighten shit out. We have problems. Yeah. Now, now. We all feel alone sometimes. Bones has every right to be here. Yeah. Don't worry, Bones. Things will turn around for you. You might find a kid someday. Thanks, Gary. It's good to see that some of us care. Okay. We, we all care here. Remember, this is about unity. You all are so very important. You bring magic to the lives of children around the world, from the frosty shores of Greenland to the wild hearth of the Kentucky... Uh, America. I mean... Look, what I'm trying to say is that you're all very important, and uh, at least as much as any dog or, 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 or... Or goldfish. Yes, exactly. In fact, I would go so far as to say that you're at least as important as a great deal number of things on this planet. Just because you're imaginary doesn't mean that you don't exist. Yar. That's enough for today. This was a good session. See you all next week? Yeah. I learned something about myself today. See you guys next time. Bye, Gary. Thanks, Herbert. Yeah, bye, guys. Hey, Bones, uh, uh, look, sorry, I'm sorry for getting on your case, all right? It's just that... Uh, no, man, it's okay. See you next week. Yes, in your bubbles. Let's go home.